Hey YouTube, it's Andy again. This format is going to be a little bit different for this video. Normally I'm showing you products that you can get or that I've got, but today I want to do an update and show you what sort of return I've got on what I bought in videos 1 and 2. Now I haven't sold everything yet, but this is an overview of what I have sold so far. Now in video 1, you may remember we had the LOL Surprise little boxes or containers, they cost £2 each and they were almost sold overnight at £9.49 each. So that was a total investment on them of £10 and a return of £47.45. Next in that video we had the Magformers sets. I bought three of those at £6.25. So far I've sold two at £24.95. That's four times the initial investment. So two of them cost me twelve fifty. I've already sold them for forty nine pounds ninety. And then on to video two, we've had the Babyliss straighteners. Those I bought three sets of those. All three have sold. They cost fifteen pounds each, and they were sold again very very quickly on eBay at thirty two ninety five each. So it went from a forty five pound investment to a ninety eight pound eighty five return. Then we had the Babyliss hair dryer. I bought a couple of them. I've sold one so far. That was £10 to buy and it sold at £30 on eBay. It was £29.95 on eBay I sold it for. And then we had the BT uh, hands-free phone kit with two handsets in there. They cost me £20. And this, these were interesting because they weren't on a yellow sticker. They were just on clearance. And these were £20 to buy, and they're both sold, again, very, very quickly at £49.95. So that brings me to where I am today. This was the initial outlay for those items. It's actually less than that. I've rounded up. It was £97.50 to buy, and we've turned it in to £326.5p return. Now, that is a gross return, and I'll make that clear. So there is a little bit of shipping cost and eBay cost to bring in there. But... Even taking off a little bit of shipping and eBay fees and PayPal fees, we're still getting a very, very healthy return. I mean, even worst case scenario, if you said, okay, your eBay fees, shipping fees and PayPal fees was that, like you're still more than doubling your money as a, as a net return. And that's probably over-egging it slightly in terms of the, the, the sales costs. And that's what you can do. Now, uh, there was a little deal I didn't put on there because it wasn't fantastic, but we got a, one of the big... Um, video game retailers in the UK was doing a deal where if you bought a certain steering wheel set they were throwing in a gear shifter they were throwing in two games and these worked out that to buy the set was 180 pounds and I put these on eBay and sold them pretty much overnight for the steering wheel and pedals these were sold at 160 pounds as I say pretty much overnight so 180 pound investment but 160 pound back on the pedals wasn't no, the steering wheel and pedals wasn't particularly a great return but what also it came with two of the latest games. They these were sold at thirty five pound each. Um, uh, sorry, thirty five pound for one of the games, twenty two pound for another of the games, and then we had the shifter, which I put them up at forty. So the total return on that is going to be about two hundred and fifty seven pound and one hundred and eight investment. Now that's actually not ideal because by the time you take your shipping and your eBay fees, you're not making a huge net profit, but I wanted to boost my sales for the end of year because we're coming up to the end of the financial year in the UK, so I wanted to boost my sales. And the fact that those pedals and steering wheels as a set were going pretty much overnight sales, it was a good way for me to boost my end of year figures. So I didn't make a video of that because I wouldn't actually recommend it because you're not making a tremendous net profit. There is a net profit to be made there, but I don't really recommend it. Really, when I look to buy something... As an investment, you want to look at doubling your money. If something's £180, really you want to sell it at 360 if you can. And more often than not on these clearance deals, you can. So there's my experience from the first two videos. I will update as more things sell and we can hopefully get some more dramatic views. I know it looks a bit clickbait, but that is a genuine return. And I'm sure people will go out there and find my eBay and you can have a look at it. But that's what I've done so far. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any deals that you've seen. Click like, comment, subscribe. Do what you can. Let's get this video out there and let's all make some money together. Thanks, guys.